Hello everybody, welcome to another Market Minute with Jake. I am your host Jake Eldridge with Realty One Group Eminence and in today's Market Minute we are discussing the real estate activity for the Carson City, Dayton, Washoe Valley, Pleasant Valley, and Mound House areas of Northern Nevada. Now if you've watched my previous videos, I uh, decided I should probably do an explanation on why I have grouped all of those together. Uh, the reason behind that is, as you know, inventory is really limited right now. So um, to get kind of a, a larger number, I have linked those in together. If you live in one of those areas and would like uh, specific information pertain pertaining to uh, what your competition might be um, and the average prices uh, of houses for each one of these individually, you can email me, call me, or text me. I'm happy to send it for just that specific area you're looking for. Um, but diving right into the numbers, if we do these all together at once, there's 80 total homes in these uh, five regions uh, for sale right now actively. 42 out of those indicated they would be eligible for FHA financing. Again, I always make note of that because buyers are not only taking advantage of historically low interest rates, but in addition to that are using FHA financing so they can put as little as 3.5% down as the down payment towards the purchase of that new home. Um, so again, diving right into the numbers, uh, the highest list price for the region was $22.5 million. The lowest list price at only $165,000. Uh, there was three homes in the $100,000 to 200000 price range, 10 homes in the two hundred dollars to 300000 price range, 10 homes in the three hundred dollars to 400000 price range, 18 homes in the four hundred dollars to 500000 price range, uh, eight homes in the five hundred to six hundred thousand price range, nine homes in the six hundred to seven hundred thousand price range, five homes in the seven hundred to eight hundred thousand price range, three homes in that eight hundred to nine hundred thousand price range, two homes in the nine hundred thousand to one million price range, ten homes listed between one million and two million dollars, one home in the two million to three million dollar price range, and one home in that ten plus million price range. So if I break all those numbers down, it would indicate that the median list price for a home right now in this region is at about 493000 with the average list price being 913000 Now, keep in mind, we did have that one property at $22.5 million. Uh, if we eliminate that property, it does bring those down quite a bit. Uh, well, actually, it increased the median from 493000 to 499000 but the average dropped from 913,000 to 639,000 uh, if we just eliminate that one property that's at that $22.5 million. Uh, if we look at the days on market activity, right now it's sitting at about 32 days and the average at about 68 days. Now, as you know, I do also like to break this down even further for you guys. Uh, I think it's important with the limited options that are out there right now that uh, you definitely to stay competitive look at four different uh, brackets uh, as far as how a house is listed for sale there's several statuses uh, but if you are uh, like many out there competing right now make sure you're keeping an eye out on anything that is in a new status back on market status reduced status or extended status Obviously, the new status is going to be those homes that are just listed. Um, so if you can get in there right away, write an offer, uh, you might have the ability to uh, get into contract right away with a little bit less competition, depending on how fast people are coming in and out of there looking at those properties. Uh, back on market means that the home was actually pulled off the market for some reason and then put back on market. Um, so, you know, that's a good one to keep your eyes on as well if you are looking to, uh, you know, avoid some competition uh, as far as being a buyer. Uh, and then price reduced, obviously, anytime something has the price reduced, it's likely because they were not getting offers at the price it was listed at so they reduced that in order to entice more people to come through the door and look at those so make sure you're keeping your eyes on that and then that extended status means they actually went all the way through the contract period with their realtor for having the house listed and had to extend that so that's a really good one to keep your eyes on uh, if you are trying to avoid competition because that house sat on the market for a while 
and had to go into that extended status because the contract ran out with the real estate agent they're working with um, and they had to extend that. So uh, those are the things to keep in mind. If I break the numbers down for the Carson City, Dayton, Washoe Valley, Pleasant Valley, and Mound House areas in only those four statuses, uh, again, there was 80 total, but 26 of those are in those four statuses, and 16 out of that 26 did indicate they would be eligible for that FHA financing. So let's break those down real quick. There was one home in that 100 to 200,000 price range, two homes in the 200 to 300,000 price range, five homes in the 300 to 400,000 price range, eight homes in the 400 to 500,000 price range. Three homes in the 500 to 600,000 price range, three homes in the 600 to 700,000 price range, three homes in the 700 to 800,000 price range, and one home in the 800 to 900,000 price range, with nothing over that one uh, that 900,000 mark. So the highest list price was at 895,000, lowest at 165,000, with a median uh, list price of 467,000 and an average list price of 493,000. Um, so again, those were both less than the uh, prices when we took everything. So thank you again for watching. If you do have any questions regarding real estate, you can contact me several ways. First and foremost, call me on my cell phone, 775-378-4976. You can also email me at jakeeldridge32 at gmail.com. Uh, or if you're watching on Facebook, you can simply click that send message button and use Facebook's messenger service to send an instant message with your questions. I'm always happy to answer that way as well. Uh, and if you do want to start looking at properties right now, you can visit my website at www.renohomessoldsimple.com. Uh, that does cover all of Northern Nevada and not just Reno and Sparks. So uh, no matter where you're at in Northern Nevada, you can use that website to look at homes that are actively for sale right now. Again, thank you for watching and have a great night.